In this video, I will interview ChatGPT on system design and assess its performance. Can it answer my challenging questions or will it crack under pressure? Would I hire it if it was a real person? And how can you use ChatGPT to your advantage when you prepare for system design interview? Let's watch and find out. AI has been taking over the world and is here to stay. We see it becoming more and more relevant in every industry, from creating content to creating videos and even writing code these days. But we're still interviewing for software engineering and management positions, and system design interviews are an integral part of this process. I'm very curious to see how ChatGPT will do in one. I've been a software engineering manager myself for many years now, and I've done tons of these interviews, and I see people struggle and fail in them, even though there's tons of good material on, on what to do to succeed. What do you think? Do you think ChatGPT will pass my interview or not? Let me know in the comments down below. To begin with, I needed to create a prompt just to set the scene and so that ChatGPT knows that we're in a system design interview and it knows how to behave itself appropriately. I'm gonna put the prompt here, but you can also find it in the description down below if you wanna use it yourself. So in a typical fashion, to start off the interview, I'm gonna ask a very generic question, such as design Instagram. Let's see what it comes back with. Okay, so I see it's saying that it's quite a broad question and we want to narrow down a little bit the, the features that we want to design, which is exactly what you should do to begin with in a, in a system design interview. So in this instance, I'm going to suggest that we focus on posting photos and videos, follow and unfollow users, like or dislike posts, search, and generating a news video. At this point, ChatGPT knows the main features that it needs to focus on, but it probably needs to ask some more clarifying questions for each of these features, which I recommend as well, in order to be able and make the right decisions down the line. Uh, so let's see how, how it's going to do with that. The first question I see here is about file sizes, which is an absolutely fair question to ask. In this case, I decided as an interviewer not to answer the question myself, but rather to throw it back to the candidate and see what he comes back with. ChatGPT, of course, made a good assumption here, and he suggests that photos are going to be up to 5 megabytes and videos are going to be up to 100 megabytes. It sounds about right. I think Instagram doesn't follow exactly the same limits, but for the purpose of our interview, this is absolutely perfect. Then I see some smart questions about private profiles profiles, how to show likes, if we need to sort search results, and if we need to show popular posts from accounts that people don't follow necessarily. So these are very good questions. I like how this is going. And it shows that the candidate in this case, ChatGPT, is able to think critically about what we need to develop in order to deliver the features that we're asked. After all these questions, now ChatGPT has very good understanding of the main features that it needs to create. I'd like to hear a bit more about the non-functional side of things and how things like scalability, availability, latency, consistency come into play as well as database solutions relating to a user base and the traffic that we foresee having in our system. Okay, so I see a lot of that, but also ChatGPT hasn't mentioned database yet. So I'd like to hear a bit more about that. The good thing that it does though, is having this conversational tone and asking how it can proceed or not. This is something that I always recommend for system design interviews. Have these conversations with your interviewer and see if you're going down the right path or not. In this case, I'm gonna ask a bit more about the non-functional requirements and see what it comes back with. From a quick glance, the estimations look about right and they have good justifications. So let's move on to the high level design now. So far, it's been going really well. It feels like we're working together with ChatGPT in order to solve a common problem, which is exactly what this interview is for. You want to be showing how you collaborate with someone else and not necessarily present the perfect solution. So at this point, I'd like to hear a bit more about the high level design that it's going to be able to come up with and putting everything together so that it fits nicely. First impressions, not half bad. I asked ChatGPT to use Mermaid, as you see. It's a pretty cool plugin that you can use with ChatGPT. And you can actually tweak it, use the link that it provided, and tweak the design yourself. You can add a cluster of load balances here, for example, and share it back to ChatGPT as plain text. Also, there's tons of samples that you can get going with if you want to learn how to use it. On the answer that ChatGPT gave, it's really great to see insights about relational versus non-relational database. And I see it leaning towards a hybrid approach where we're going to have relational database for some systems, but non-relational database in others, which honestly is good enough. Having a closer look at the design and its 
bits and bobs, I can see that the newsfeed generation is completely missing. Forgetting a whole area of the system is quite a serious oversight. Let's see what ChatGPT comes back with about this area, which admittedly is a little bit more complex than the others. Okay, that's impressive. This is a really good answer because I see different approaches suggested, push motor, the pull motor, and a hybrid approach, all of them with their pros and cons. Let's see now which one is the recommended way forward, how the final design is gonna look with all of that taken into consideration. Honestly, this is not bad at all. Having discussed all these different areas from general ones to more specific ones that relate to this system, is a good place, I think, to leave the interview. I like to always ask all the candidates one more question in the end, which is to do with the shortcomings of the solution and what areas they would improve if they had more time. It's not something we're gonna tackle in this interview, but I just like to get a sense of what people see and what they want to improve. A few interesting ideas here, like the single point of failure, cache invalidation, and data durability. Really nice to see these suggestions coming up. I now have to make a big decision. Did ChatGPT pass my interview or not? I would say yes. As we saw, it was able to provide solid suggestions to my questions and for the overall system itself. However, it struggled a little bit with the features that it implemented. We saw we for, it forgot, for example, to implement the feed generation. And also, if we look a bit closer, we're going to see that some of the answers that it gave were quite long-winded, which is not necessarily the best approach in a system designing. Overall, it was a pretty smooth interview. I think we're able to collaborate together quite strongly and that's what made ChatGPT be able and get a yes from me on the system designing. The main takeaway for me from this experience is that I actually plan to use this prompt with ChatGPT when I prepare for system design interviews. Not so much to steal the design solutions that it suggests, but more to help me think what are the correct questions to ask in this interview and how to navigate it. If you're preparing for interviews this period and you want to smash your behavioral interview, I highly recommend you watch this video right here. You'd be surprised to hear that the techniques that people recommend for it don't work today. Thank you for staying with me till the end and until the next one, stay curious, keep growing, and I'll see you in the next